Hey y'all, it's me again, Joey. This video that I'm about to show you, it's an older video. I say older video, it was done in early March this year. If you remember the small hive that I brought in during the winter when we had that freeze here in Louisiana. Originally, last year going into winter, there were a full box of bees and had plenty of stores and they went through it all. Didn't hardly have anything. And got down to like two frames of bees, if I remember right. Well, I videoed um, putting them in an observation hive and just never did use it. And I figured I'd go ahead and back up and throw that in here right now and let you see that. Actually, there's two that I brought in and those same two, I did another video on feeding them just prior to the cold weather. I'll start with it, posting it right here, and maybe just playlist them together. Okay, y'all remember this hive? You probably don't recognize it, because I got a second box on it, with a, giving them a little feed. But um, this is the small hive I brought in during the uh, cold weather. They were, really wasn't set up for cold weather. They had a screen bottom and had got down low in their stores and I brought them in. But anyway, what I'm gonna do today, if they're still in good shape, uh, they've been nominated to go in the observation hive for a couple of days. We got some classes we're gonna do tomorrow or the next two days actually. So they'll be in the observation hive in the school in the classroom so let me let, let's open it up and see what they look like before we get started let's look in here see if they took the sugar water down it ain't took much it's only been in there a couple of days but they hadn't took a whole lot i think they might be a little something happening here because i've noticed a couple of them bringing in nectar from somewhere and I do have a uh, little sugar water setting out but not enough for what these hives have been bringing in so we'll see they drinking on it they just so small I guess they taking a lot in but that's fine I had these covered up with electrical box covers because they didn't have it closed in. I usually grab lids, jar lids, and close that up. But didn't have any handy. Yeah, they ain't grew a bit. We're going to be setting my observation hive right there. If they even look good enough to do this with, they may may be too bad. Got nectar and pollen in that one. A bit of brew, not a whole lot. There's the queen. Mm -hmm. 
I would have to split anything else to put in here. There's some little brood there. Yeah, we can make this work. Something about my car warranty. nectar in here and pollen. Alright, let me see what I can do here. I guess I should have cleaned this before ever. Brought it out to see it. I'll have to find my screws too. I got some, I usually put there's one of them and there's the other one. Usually tight, tighten up my frames real good and screw it down. Let's get my Phillips driver and take that out. usually like a lot stronger colony and it's usually one that I do a split with so I can show a sorted and show open brood I'm able to show open brood on one side of this cap brood on the other side and what the queen's laying in here I don't think I'm gonna have that option this time Queen again, in case you missed her the first time. And I'm not going to mark her. I want to leave her as natural as I can leave her. She'll go right here. Sorry. This says rear, this says front. Caged up in the top. Y'all heard that screwdriver fall? Mm -hmm. 
Alright, this is probably all I'm going to do. Now, I want to... I was going to show them a brood on one of them. I may not get that choice. Let's see. No, they're going to be too small to try to put a brood on the outside. Yeah, I always put my feeder. I do have to find a couple more screws. Maybe. Let's see. Do this way I won't line this up. I don't want it flopping all over the place. Okay. I'm remembered now. I think. Because if you if you don't have it screwed down just right as a in transport, you can push up against the box. I mean the uh, window. And I've got screws on both sides. It depends on what side I put that feeder. Those screws hold it off the glass. Gotcha. And these, I can't use this in four frames, so I have to use. I have to use uh, three frames, so this is gonna work out okay. I'll just put their comb up while they're in this thing. Is this all empty anyway? That's a, that's probably the smallest colony I've ever had, except for maybe a, a breeder box. like to have a half a gallon I don't like this thing very full because it will splash everywhere when you move it around these Louisiana highways all right y'all go down just a minute okay thank you I'll let them settle down and I'll put in this screw right here Tonight, once they all go in, I got a block that I put right here to hold them in.
Somebody told me one, asked me one time, said, why don't you just use latches like the, on the uh, observation hives that they uh, sell. All they have is like the toolbox latches. I said, I bring this thing around. Second, third, fourth, fifth graders. I want something to keep it closed. Not a whole lot of bees there. Kids won't care. Open. You can't see it from the side. So just come like right here and have a seat. Back up. Right. Back up. 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 Waterfall, waterfall. When we hit a big old bump coming in here, I don't, we'll do this. I don't know if the top glass stayed on. So we got to look in here and see. Uh-oh. Anybody scared? Uh -oh. Yeah. 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 Y